In this lesson, we are going to find the linear regression line for the following data set. Okay, so we have a uh, we have the uh, a set of data here uh, for when x is one, y is three; when x is two, y is four; when x is three, y is five; when x is four, y is eight. So down here in the corner, I have it plotted out here. So the blue dots that you see, those are the points that we that we are given. And the, the red points is actually the solution to this. So I'm just using this as an illustration here. So we want to, what we want to do is we want to find the, um, the differences between the point that we're trying to find and the points that we're given. So in other words, we want to try to find the deviations. Okay, and then we're going to take that, formulate the deviations, and then, uh, and then square them. Okay, so the deviations, okay, are coming from here. Okay, so if you're going down here, okay, so you want to take, we want to look at the difference, okay, between these two points, between these two, these two, and then these two, okay. And so we're going to get an equation from that, okay, and that's going to be our, um, that's basically our mean square error equation. And then we're going to take the partials of that and then set those partials equal to zero, and that will give us the equation that we need, okay. So the equation that we're looking for is linear, okay? So we want to find an equation in this form. So y equals ax plus b, okay? Where a is your uh, slope and then b is your, uh, your y-intercept, okay? So let's uh, first find the deviation or the mean square error. Okay, so the mean square error for this, I'm going to let that be, I'm going to let that, uh, we use m for that. So we're going to get, so what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate, okay, so we're going to evaluate x at this equation here. So starting with x equals to 1, we're going to get a plus b, and then we want to take the difference. So that's the, so a plus b is the y value for the x that we're given, okay. And then we want to take that and subtract 3 and then square it, okay? So that's basically what we're doing is going to do that for each x value, okay? All right, and then take the difference and square them, okay? So that's, first, that's for the first x value, okay? So let's do the next one. For x equals to, okay, for the next one, for x equals to 2, okay, we're going to get 2a plus b minus 4 squared, okay? For x equals 3, we're going to get 3a plus b minus 5 squared. For x equals 4, we're going to get 4a plus b minus 8 squared, okay? So that equation that we see here, that all that is is the, it's the difference between the y values okay, for each x value, okay, difference between the y value we're given and the y value that we want to find, okay. So now, uh, let's go ahead and simplify this. So going through the, um, so multiplying everything out, combining like terms, we're going to end up getting 4b squared plus 20ab minus 40b plus 30a squared minus 116a plus 114. Okay. All right, so now, so that's that's our equation. So we wanna take, um, we wanna go ahead and take the partial of m with respect to a and, and b. Okay, so, so that we're gonna get partial m with respect to a, okay, so we're treating b as a constant and a as a variable. So for a, okay, a is in here, so, okay, so we're going to get 20b plus 60a minus 116, okay. And then we're going to take the partial m with respect to b, okay.
Okay, so we have B here, here. Okay, so that's going to give us 8B plus 20A. Okay, again, taking the uh, derivative with respect to B. So we're treating A as a constant. Okay, and then minus 40. Okay, so we have, okay. All right, so now, okay, we're going to set each of these partials equal to zero, right? Because the reason is we're trying to minimize the deviation. So, so this is a type of optimization problem, okay? So basically, we have to set the derivatives or the partials equal to zero. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so then we get, let's see, for the first one, okay, I call this equation one, then equation two. Okay, so from the first one, we have 20b plus 60a minus 116 equals zero. The second one, we're going to have 8b plus 20a minus 40. Okay, so we have a system of equations here, okay. So we need to solve those for a and b. Okay, so this can be written as 20b plus 60a equals to 116. And we have 8b plus 20a equals to 40. Okay. Okay, so we can go ahead and solve this by using, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, elimination method. So I can multiply the second equation, okay, Okay, so I multiply the second equation by three, or by minus three, so that we can eliminate A. So we're gonna get, let's see, so 20B, plus 60A equals 116, then multiplying by minus uh, three, so we get uh, minus 24B, minus 60A, minus 120. Okay, and then we go ahead and take the difference here. So we're going to get minus 4b equals to minus 4. So that implies b must be equal to 1. Okay, so to get a, okay, we can just simply substitute that back into the first equation and then solve for a. Okay, so so you can either use equation one or two. So in this case, I'll use equation two. Okay, so we can we're going to get twenty b. So twenty b plus sixty a equals to one sixteen. So since b was one, okay. We can substitute that in. So this is going to give us 60a okay, equals to 116 minus 20. So that's going to give us 60a equals to 96. So a, therefore, is going to be 96 over 60, which is equal to 8 fifths. So that is the uh, solution for A. Okay. So we have B, right? We have B and A now. So our so our solution, the equation that we're looking for, okay, it's going to be y equals to eight fifths x plus one. Okay. So this gives us the best fit line through our data, and that's the line that you. Uh, this is the the line that you see here okay all right so those are your remember the points in red are the ones that we are um, those are the ones that we found okay well based on the equation that that we had okay so that is the best fit line in other words this is the this graph okay this line gives us the 
the minimum errors for the deviation. Okay. All right. So eight fifths x plus one.